Hello YouTube, hope you're all keeping well out there. This is a follow-up video to a vid I did, what, maybe a year and a half ago, a year ago, around video game music. Now, I love my music in general, always have, uh, so it was it was natural my ears were going to pick up on some of the tunes coming from these the video games that I've always loved as well. In the previous video, I had a pick, well, I didn't have to, but I did, I picked one track from each album stroke video game, which was really difficult. There's probably many in those particular games and those albums that I could have chosen. And I'll probably do a few more of those in upcoming videos. I've chose 10 here. And again, like I just said, I could a lot of these are on video games that I, I could have picked quite a few. So it was really difficult to narrow it down to just one from that particular album for this video anyway. And I've tried to keep it a mixed bag here of retro, you know, going back quite far to just a few generations ago up to the present day, although not too many uh, contemporary games. But yeah, always love my music and uh, music was always seen really in video games as the ugly step sister or stepchild to graphics, which is always seen as the, the main priority for a game. But audio is always there to back up the visuals and help immerse you in the atmosphere and uh, the, the world of the particular game. And it, you know, back in the Spectrum days when you had to use your imagination much more. And granted, until the 128K, you didn't really get music within the game. But it did help to create the kind of atmosphere and your mind and ears would uh, fill in the rest. Now, for any of you interested out there, there's a, a really good documentary called Beep, a documentary history. So I've got a note down here. Beep, a documentary history of game sound. And uh, I've watched this a couple of times now. I really, really enjoyed it. It takes you through early 1930s mechanical uh, entertainment ar ar arcade games all the way through um, chip tunes, waveform music into MIDI, all the way up to orchestral CD quality uh, tunes in the games we have today. And it's a really insightful. It's got loads of interviews with some big hitter players and composers throughout the, the, the generations and the decades. Really worth checking out. Beep, a documentary history of game sound. Really, really good. I'll leave a little description of it in the description beneath the video. Do check it out. Right, so let's crack on with the, the music. The first one I've got here is for a fairly recent game on the PlayStation 3, and I consider it to be one of the best games that, as a benchmark for that particular generation, and it's from Mass Effect. Great game, great gameplay, great visuals, and fantastic soundtrack by a guy called Jack Wall and um, other composers as well. And it was really tricky to narrowing down the tune that I was gonna choose for this. But the one I always remember, the main theme is fantastic. And the one I'm gonna give you now is called The Citadel. The Citadel was kind of your hub planet base where you know you go, to, you had a bar there and uh, different offices with uh, different uh, NPCs that you talk to that would usually send you on missions out into space. But yeah, real homely sort of sound to this synth wave music, reminded me of Tron as well. Very synthy, um, just fantastic. Really, really good tune. Uh, and anyway, here we go. It's called the Citadel. And the next tune is going to be for a system that's fairly recent as well, the Wii U. I was playing this game back at the old house when I was with my wife, before our daughter came along. And playing away, and I came to this tune, and I was like, oh my god, listen to this. And I called my wife in, Dar, come in and check this out, and she was really impressed with it as well. And it was from the game Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And... Um, the, the, the track name in question is Mangrove Cove Underwater Theme. And it's by, oh, what was he called? David Wise, and who reprised his composing duties for this game. And he also worked on the, the SNES versions of the games and maybe the Wii version, I can't remember. But they brought him back in and he's remixed some of the tunes from 
his previous games with a much more you know a cleaner sound and crisper sound and it's just a beautiful beautiful tune i do find a lot of um aqua themed underwater uh water level game music tunes really really good don't know what that is and same with like snowy levels as well something that tends to be quite peaceful and uh, relaxing about them but anyway here's the tune Right, going back to my favourite era, the 16-bit era, and my beloved Super Nintendo days. I used to love this game, and it is one of the best on the system, and it's from uh, Super Probotector, or Contra 3, Alien Wars, Rebel Wars, whichever side of the pond you're on. And there's loads of great tunes in there, so it was really hard to pick one. But this one was really memorable, because it wasn't until the last level. It's called... Um, the final gauntlet part two and on the when we you know obviously you need to, uh, to play the game more and more to get your experience up and finally you know you chipped away and got further in the levels and this tune come up and I was like hang on a minute oh my god and it reminded me and it's definitely ripped from um, The Predator by Alan, Silvis Alan, Silvis Alan Silvestre was the composer for that particular um soundtrack but yeah this was definitely ripped off of predator and it wouldn't surprise me because when they did contra uh, and even previous games as well they always ripped off arnie on the box art and even on the title screen graphics so uh yeah this one check it out see if you can see the similarity to predator <laughs> Right, this one's a little bit different. This is a tune I found out about, discovered through watching another YouTuber's video, and it was Mr. Bad's video, Paul. And during his video, I can't remember what it was, a pickups video or something, um, I said, I put in the comments below, Paul, what is that tune you're playing in the background? At, and I gave him the timestamp. And anyway, he was good as go and got back to me with the tune. Funny enough, I actually played the Spectrum version back in the day and I really, really liked it. It's a very nostalgic game for me. And it was Overlander's main theme and it had a real good beat to it. It was quite sort of badass. And yeah, the Amiga sound chip is fantastic. But anyway, it's Overlander's main theme. <laughs> Right, going to jump further back now to the Master System. Master System, yes. I know it's not really renowned for its uh, sound capabilities, and it, and it isn't, but bless it. This is a tune I've only become familiar with since becoming a collector and owning this game. I've since sold it on the game. Foolish me, it's probably one of a, my little kind of regrets. I'm not too bothered because it was a really difficult game. I couldn't quite get on with it. It was for the first level in a game called The Flash, the superhero The Flash. And the tune is called Trickster for Mayor. And um, yeah, it's just got a lovely sort of beat and quality to it. I'll just let you check it out.
Right, jumping back to the Super Nintendo now. Love the SNES um, sound chip. Plenty of reverb on it, I know, which, which, which some people dislike, but I really like it. Fantastic. Loads of great nostalgic memories with the Super Nintendo. Playing the games and listening to loads and loads of fantastic tunes. But this is from a game that I only played since becoming a collector a few years ago now. Uh, it's not supposed to be that great a game. I don't mind it, it's all right. It's like a six, 6.5 out of 10 for me. It's called Rival Turf, and it's a left and right brawler by Jalico, or Jalico, however you pronounce it. And the composer for this has done a, a fair bit of work for other Jalico games. But there's a few good tunes on this, on this, um, on this game and I think this is from like level three or four can't remember it's called da, 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 south of the border and it's one of those tunes like I said I've, I've only just started playing it since becoming a collector but when you play in the game when I started playing the game it instantly kind of took me back to that early 90s 91 sort of time period and I just it's amazing how music can do that it does for me anyway I find that quite strong it smells quite um, a very nostalgic thing as well if I get like a whiff of something like Farley's you know that takes me back to a certain time for example or or yeah plenty of other things anyway getting off topic but this is a yeah there's a there's a few nice gems on here and let's just take it away wrong turf south of the border Jumping forward again to the PlayStation 3, but this is a very retro-ish game in style. It's 3D Dot Heroes. Absolutely love that game. For me, it's one of my top 10, I think, on the PlayStation 3. Really, really like it. And obviously it's got more of that chip tune sound in keeping with its retro um, pixel aesthetic. And this one just takes you back. It's obviously a blatant rip off of Zelda with the overworld and going into dungeons and it's segregated the map. It even looks identical to um, A Link to the Past's map with the castle in the middle, the desert in the same area, and you know, all of those sort of bit, all those sort of things. But yeah, this tune is fantastic. It's called Go to the Wilderness. And you would obviously go to a certain zone within the, or level within the game and then this music would kick in and I used to love going back there for uh, items and um, other missions and stuff and to just level up just to hear this music brilliant take it away <laughs> Right, a silly little one next. It's a, it's just one tune. It's just one tune. It's not from a game per se, but it is from a console. It's the Wii Shop Channel music. It's basically like uh, twee elevator music. But as soon as I hear it, I get a big old smile on my face and I'm instantly taken back to good times, uh, living with my mate when we bought a, bought a house together. And we had the big cellar, I've mentioned it in numerous videos. It would be our games room. We had our deck set up down there for like parties and things. Fridge down there with, with beers, full of beers. We would have the projector down with the Wii playing. And I just remember, you know, I'm always transported back there when I listen to this music. Simpler kind of times and discovering the, the Wii shop for the first time as well and being able to go in there and buy games 
um, from yesteryear, old Super Nintendo games like Castlevania and Zelda Link to the Past, two of my favourite games, like I was saying. But yeah, brilliant. I'll just play a little bit of this tune, I'm sure you all know it. Jumping back to the Super Nintendo again. Now, this is a game that I need to give more time. And since listening to some more of the music, my God, it's utterly fantastic. It's got a great visual style, this game. It's a, it's a platform, an action platform, this clock. But my God, the music in this is, it's unreal what they squeezed out of the Super Nintendo. This particular tune is the boss theme. Um, it's just called Boss, the music, and it starts off in a kind of haunting, eerie, haunted house sort of place, and it just gets darker and darker, and it, the beat just really kicks in, and it is absolutely badass. It's such an incredible tune. I love it. It's a stomper. Check it out. And the last one for today is a tune that's for the Spectrum. Loads of Specky fans out there probably definitely know this one. And uh, yeah, it just there's something quite peaceful about it. Slightly something, I find something a bit melancholy about it. I don't know why. Maybe because it just takes me back to real simple times when I was a kid. Um, you know, my dad was alive back then. Uh, mum and dad were younger than I am now. We were just little scamps running around me, me and my sister. And it just reminds me of good sort of wholesome times. And uh, yeah, I'll, pl I'll play the video out to this. But anyway, enjoy this tune. It's for the Specky. It's Robocop's main theme. See you later. <laughs> 